Hi guys, it's Danny. Okay, welcome to the last balcony tour. Now I'm not sure if I'm gonna move out next month, but just in case. Um, this will be the last balcony tour because I'm not sure if I will have time and energy to do one next month. Huh, I thought I could make this video quite easy, but now that I'm here and I just said last balcony tour, ah, feels weird. Okay, no sentimentalism, let's get to it. So everybody keeps saying, oh my god, what a beautiful azalea you have. Yeah, it's my mom's. <laughs> it's not mine, it just lives here for now. But it's not going to come with me because uh, this is my mom's. She picked it up. It is beautiful. I'll give you a close-up. Um, I don't know what to tell you about caring for this azalea. I just, I don't know. I don't do anything. I fertilize it with my citrus fertilizer sometimes. Uh, I make sure that she has enough water because if she doesn't have enough water, everything will go meh, including the flowers. So yeah, I just make sure she is moist all the time and that's about it. And she has uh, quite a lot of bright light, but not too much direct sunshine so yeah this is the azalea it is beautiful I'm not sure if I will have azaleas I might I don't know I'm not sure how they will do in my new environment but anyway so on my desk I have the orchids that are not necessarily unpotted because I just couldn't they're all so beautiful they don't have spider mites I will unpot them eventually but anyway here is the renoncera doing well I love the orchid top pot I really do and in the back there we have the um, Encyclia cordigera looking nice, Calia mosiae looking nice as well. You have already seen the Neophenicia falcara, this guy, I didn't, okay, I didn't rip out this guy because I didn't want to stress him overly. What was that? I'm sorry for my English fail. Overly stress him. But look at this, he has nails. Ta-da! <laughs> as this new growth was growing, she got a little bit of a wound here, but... Yeah, we're kind of okay now. No point in overly stressing about it because I'm gonna unpot it anyway. And this is the LC Kiwi doll. No, Siamese doll Kiwi. Looking nice right here. I will not have a bloom this year. Uh, but yeah, she's looking okay. And this is... <laughs> what's your name? Maxillaria tenofolia. Okay, I'm, I will not expect blooms. But what I wanted to show you is the pseudobulbs she created. So huge! Hmm, this must be a good sign. Mounted orchids right here. Um, just a side note, I will not keep any more mounted orchids. I cannot cope with watering, especially in a warmer environment. No, no more mounted orchids for me. I'll find a different way. Maybe baskets. I have an idea for baskets with ceramics anyway. But no more mounted orchids for me. No, thank you. Alrighty, let's move on on this side. The Encyclia Fragrance. I think I see something in the sheets. It's hard to tell, but the sheaths are kind of plump, so that's good. The Encyclia, hmm, Cochlea, our green hornet, we're not sure just yet, because I think she was mislabeled. This is the Encyclia Prismatocarpa, she finished growing this new growth. Not looking particularly fabulous, but we'll, we're gonna fix that. <laughs> the Epidendrum Stamfordianum, again, not looking particularly fabulous, but he's alive, he's looking good. I'm gonna have to cut this video right now, because there's an ambulance coming. Okay, next to it, the Dying Tetraspis, sadly, um, but the Bellina is doing nice. I love this new leaf. Um, Promenia, yeah, Promenia is looking quite all right. No blooms just yet, I don't know, maybe she will bloom pretty soon. And the Selagini Usitana growing her new growth, she's doing fine. And um, hmm, I forgot your name totally forgot it and I think I lost the tag but I know what you are. This is a yellow Oncidium putting out a spike right here even in water he's a survivor really and here's another Oncidium which was this is the Calico gem he was purchased at the same time with this guy but there is a difference in growth because this guy did not have roots and he's just starting to develop. Nothing particularly interesting going on here everybody is pretty much okay and Cyclia brassivola is looking okay not sure if she's gonna bloom this year Again, I'm going to stress them with the move, new environment, and so on. So pretty much maybe this year I will not have spectacular stuff happening. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe Callias will do fine. The Callia Leopoldi doing nice. And of course, the Psychopsis doing quite nice as well. Um, okay, let's move up. We have the Oncidiums there. They're sitting in water. You might notice some orchids are missing. And oh, that one. Is absolutely horrible she has a horrible infection not sure what it is she's not vigorous anymore something 
happened to her. I'm not sure what it is. Side infection, she's not coming with me. Sorry about that, but she's not. And the Gongora, looking quite pretty here. And that's the Paphiopetalum we just sprayed. And downstairs, uh, we have a whole mess. This is my only remaining Cymbidium. I don't think I will take him with me. I think I'm going to give him to my brother because he has a yard. Um, you know, the Osmoglossum and some other orchids doing quite okay here. You'll notice that my balcony is a bit crowded. Mm, yeah, I'm just... Mm, I don't feel like cleaning up and everything because I know I'm going to mess everything up again and I'm going to pack everything and... Eh, you know. Alrighty, here is the Kirchara doing well. Oh, and the mini mark. I'm not sure what to do with this guy. He is so pretty and so cute and so nice. But he has the side infection. I'm not sure if I should take him with me. I don't know. I think I will. I don't know. But yeah, he's looking pretty. He's blooming. And in the back we have the Oncidium Sherry Baby, my division. Which pretty much uh, didn't adapt to the water culture just yet. He will not have to because soon, soon you will be in a brand new media with air. Good. Alrighty, the Catlianthe Rojo, she bloomed pretty weak this year. We're going to fix that. And some other orchids trying to adapt and survive to whatever I'm doing right now. This one is putting out roots, but I only have just a little bit of water here. I'm not keeping her in water because she absolutely hates water culture. This is the Encyclia Green Hornet. As you can see, the new growth is a lot tinier than the one from last year. Yeah, it is to be expected. We're gonna fix that. And yeah, just a few more orchids that I'm trying to keep as best as I can. Okay, this is the Calia from Rachel. I don't know what happened. So this leaf, as you can see, we cut it because it had an infection. Everything looks fine where we cut it. But there is some more coming up on the other side. Not sure what's wrong with this leaf because the, the other leaf she created looks okay. Yeah, maybe I'm gonna have to just chop this leaf, but we're putting out roots. Lots of them. That is great. We're gonna do fine. And, um, what's your name? This is the Encyclia... Hmm, Vitellina. Okay. She's putting out new growth as well. No blooms. It is to be expected. I messed up her new growth. Uh, just a few more Calias here and there. And up above we have, oh, we have the Kaisis. I think it's gonna put on a new growth from here. Not sure, we're gonna see. So some Oncidiums, the Jungle Monarch is in bloom right there. And yeah, just a bunch of Oncidiums doing okay. My seedlings are doing fine. They're gonna get sprayed with hairspray. This one is not doing so fine. This is the Purpurata seedling. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this one because she's so tiny. I'm just gonna order a purpurata. I'm not even sure if it's a purpurata because it was purchased from eBay Asia. I don't trust them. So yeah. These are the Sidereas. You might have seen them. Flower spike going nice. I really, really hope... Oh, and they are producing new leaves. I saw them. They're very, very tiny. I will spray them pretty soon because I don't want the new leaves to end up like this. So hopefully, hopefully um, that will fix it. Other than that, everybody's doing quite okay here, struggling but they're surviving. Alrighty, some more orchids and water here. This is the Hawaiian Splash Lea. Struggling, but doing okay. Oh, and this is the Dendrobium, not Parishi, Aphilum, or Pirardi. Only put up one bloom this year. Progress, right? Nah. Um, yeah, I messed up with this guy because I kept repotting him. I used the Orchid Focus Media, it wasn't okay, long story, but he, he will do better next year. And that's about it it for this side. Oh, I forgot to show you downstairs. So a whole bunch of orchids are um, just piled up here because I don't have space right now. Catacetums. Uh, I am making a video on how to water ca or when to water catacetums. It will be posted as soon as, as soon as these roots grow actually and they will be able to, to pick up water. I cannot talk today. I'm, I'm sorry, it's Sunday. So yeah, I need more coffee. So everybody's looking okay-ish here. This guy really hates water culture. Hang on, hang on. And yeah, everybody's doing okay here. On this side, some Vandas are soaking right now, but this is the Elizabeth and Buckleberry putting out a new growth, actually maturing it. I'm not surprised if he's gonna bloom. The Onasmum will not bloom this year, of course. I don't know why. We're gonna fix that. 
course, the beautiful breasts of Vola and the rest of my bandas. Some of them are soaking right now, so that's why they are missing. Also, um, the... Um, what's your name? Xalagini. I made the ID sheet on Orchid Nature. I'll add it somewhere here. She's down blooming. Uh, it didn't last all that much. And the rest of these orchids are fine. Another Xalagini. This is the... What's your name? Bulbophyllum medusae, and I'm sorry about the light. He's growing. He absolutely hates neem oil. Absolutely. Oh, okay, I'm gonna bring him down. Absolutely, absolutely hates spots of neem oil. See? Not okay. And here is the Stanhopia. She's doing quite okay, actually, uh, considering. But now she has a lot of roots, so she's gonna get hydrated. So yeah, we're gonna do better with this one. And the Angrecum is there. No blooms, but he's uh, he's looking quite nice. Okay, let's move on. On this side, we have the beautiful Leodoro. So here's why I'm saying it might work with the, the spotting. So you see these new leaves? They don't have spottings on them, unlike the old leaves. So I'm guessing if the orchid is strong, she will overcome whatever infection this is. So yeah, that's why I'm thinking of keeping the sidereas and trying to make them look better. This one smells really, really nice right now. Um, up above, some Catlia is doing quite nice. This one has a bump. Um, I'm not sure if they're buds. I hope so. This is the Jungle Eyes. She never bloomed for me. Grows like mental, but never blooms. I really hope she will bloom now. I don't know, we'll see. You know, these guys, this is the Schimberkia, some more Catlias, some more Catlias. Down here is my mom's African Violets. They will not come with me because they're not mine. <laughs> so yeah, and that's, uh, that's pretty much about it. And this was the messy balcony tour. Yeah, I'm lazy to clean. So the last balcony tour, huh? Um, yeah, no, I went through it pretty fast because I just, I can't. I just can't. It's the last time, so yeah. We're gonna see a beautiful greenhouse, hopefully, next time. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed my balcony. It's absolutely not the most suited place for growing orchids. And I personally had a hassle sometimes. This, this is why I always cut my videos and balcony tours. And this happens every five minutes here where I live No. Okay, so I was saying that I had a lot of hassles filming in this balcony, partly due to the traffic, partly due to the workers, partly due to all the ambulances and everybody making noises, partly due to my stupid neighbors, partly due to noises in the house and not Jackie. So I had a lot of hassle with this balcony. It wasn't as easy as I made it sound, but I'm not complaining. You know, I have a place for my orchids. But as a final note, ugh, this balcony as much as it helped me and I'm grateful I have it it was such a hassle it was an amazing amazing hassle and it's not even my own balcony I cannot say you know what from now on there will be no other thing except orchids in this balcony no everybody has grabs on this balcony because it's not mine so I'm not sad to go I'm not sad to not be here but you know this balcony kind of made my YouTube channel so I'm grateful for that. But you know what? Mm. Oh my god. So many hassles. So many nerves. So many sad days. Anyway, last balcony tour. Hope you enjoyed my balcony. But from now on, we're going to switch to a much better place. I hope more tidy. I hope a place where nobody will bring stuff that don't belong there. Yeah, that will not happen. A place where... I can film in the nighttime or whenever it's gloomy. Right now it's really gloomy. And yeah, I'm not sure when the next tour will be, but when it will be, yeah, stay tuned. It's gonna be pretty. Anyway, let's end it here. This is the last balcony tour. Hope you enjoy my balcony all these years. I'm not sad to let it go, although I might sound that way, but I'm not sad to let it go. This balcony is anything but perfect. Alrighty guys, thank you for watching. If you like to see more orchid videos from me, because I'm not gonna stop posting videos, things will get better. Just subscribe to my channel. You'll see much better videos in the future, and that's a promise. So if you have any further questions or suggestions for videos, just leave me a comment down below, and I'll get back to you. If you click on the left side of your screen, you'll be directed to orchidnature.com. 
where you'll find care sheets, identification sheets, and also you can talk to us in the forum section. And on the right side of your screen, you can click to watch another ORCID video. Thank you for joining us. See you next time. Bye!